Hello everybody, welcome to the second semi-final of the Chalice Season 5. We've got Spartacus with Orcs up against Tumish with Skaven. Uh, Spartacus won the toss, decided to receive. And uh, interestingly, <laughs> he's only got two stand firm. While Tumish does not have Juggernaut on the team. So he's benching the leader thrower and the you know dedicated one-turner. Sprint, sidestep, leap, sure feet, block. Um, so you know he's got he's got quite a good little one turner there, and he's got the extra arms, but he does not have a way to get the pushes if if Spartacus has had three stand firm, but he's only got two. And of course, these two might get taken out. There's no claw. There is a mighty blow on the Skaven side, but um, yeah. He, with one not having stand firm, I mean you can protect it, right? You can put the middle, make it hard to blitz. But um, it's the one turn defense will be interesting from Spartacus here. He's got loads of guard. He's got some mighty blow, not too much, right? Two mighty blow tackles. Well, that's all. Only two mighty blow. He does have a move seven sure hands. Um, you know, some gutter runners. Hello, Hello. fine. How are you today, sir? Good, good, good. I had a few, few pints yesterday, but not too many, so today I'm fresh. No, I'm ready just... for this uh, new hour, this new era, end of an era, summertime is over. <laughs> oh, is, it, is that official? Oh, yes, of course, because the clocks have changed. Yes, the clocks have changed, so summer is over, guys. Mm. And now here we have a semi-final of the Challenge Cup. Mm. With teams with actual skills. Yes. Um, interestingly, Tumish is here with a Skaven. He's only lost one game out of 32 to get here. And uh, he's my, one of my opponents in my World Cup group. So that's Oh, that's there fun. you go, there you go. Analyzing, studying. Yeah. The mind games already started. If he makes any mistakes, I'm going to say they were brilliant moves. <laughs> <laughs> he should do that all the time. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's weird that he's using Skaven. The, you know, he, he's he's only level sixty six. He's pretty much only played the Skaven, I guess. And then um, and he made a Skaven team and an Orc team for the World Cup. Because I looked at his profile, and he's chosen the Orcs. So, hmm. Oop, cheering fans. Intensive training. Is this for the rats? I can see that these rats have a lot of tackle. Like, a lot of tackle. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Five tackle. That's a lot. Yeah, why does he have... I guess he random the gutters, right? I'm guessing... Well, that's a lineman, so he'll random the lino. And he may be random the gutters as well. Oh god. Psh little mouse got the break tackle. Oh there we go. So the blitzer got break tackle. Oh absolute game changer for <laughs> that blitzer. <laughs> it would have actually been huge, right, if one of the orcs had got stand firm. But um not to be. Or unless it's for the... Is it just for the drive? In that case, it wouldn't have mattered at all. Weird that this one hasn't got anything, right? Maybe they just could have given him guard. Oh, instant death. Dead, dead, dead. Full death, dead, dead, dead. That's how you begin a game in the semi-finals. Mmm. Much better at Blood Bowl than Dimmy G. Uh, obviously, he couldn't, couldn't hurt any rats to save his life last time he played them. <laughs> <laughs> Question is, one uh, rat death is bad, but not too dramatic. He has a lot of bench. Yeah. But that's one rat less for the drive. Yeah, they all count. It's, uh, you really, really have to be removing those rats to uh, stand any chance. Oh, wow, okay. Targeting the dirty player. Oh, 
Oh yeah, what what's the what's the country? What's the country from here? Okay, I was waiting for chat. <laughs> Today's game is dedicated to the people of Canada. Ooh. With the capital in Ottawa. You know, no, not Montreal. Many people think it's Montreal, but it's not. Mm -hmm. They speak French and English. They use the Canadian dollar. The national flower is the Bunchberry, and the national list is obviously the Poutine. Mm. Mm -hmm. and it has a density of four people per square kilometer, so more or less the amount of people a Blue Bowl coach speaks per year. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, nearly fluffed the pickup. Had to use Shurans to get it up. He'll slot right in behind these three, I imagine. Okay, no. You see a, a blitzer as the ball carrier, as it should be. Okay, I guess there's so much around this side, it's all right, but I would have definitely just gone in behind. Going in behind these three, right? Canada. Yeah. The home of Celine Dion. <laughs> oh, true, true. And, uh... <laughs> well, 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 let's see. Tom Schnees. <laughs> Tom, Tom Schnees. Is that, no, I'll tell you who's a famous Canadian. Ryan Reynolds is Canadian, isn't he? Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Keanu Reeves is from Canada. Oh. Ryan Gosling is from Canada. Oh, Jim wow. Carrey. Pamela Anderson. Wow. Lots of them. Michael J. Fox is Canadian? Wow. Lots of famous Canadians. Kiefer Sutherland? <laughs> They keep it quiet, don't they? <laughs> Damn, William Sandler? <laughs> this is probably one of the most American uh, American guys. Uh, Dan Aykroyd, yes, Dan Aykroyd, yes. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd is still alive? <laughs> <laughs> uh, And Alanis Morissette, which is someone, if you were alive during the 90s and early 2000s, who <laughs> grow absolutely exhausted of hearing uh, her songs. <laughs> and since then, I don't recall anything at all. <laughs> yep. Don't like this. Not a Mighty Blow Blitz. Not into another Mighty Blow hit. You really have to be using that Mighty Blow every turn. You have to be hurting rats. I guess he's going to exert his mighty blow and tackle onto these gutter runners here, which is all right, isn't it? This is a good turn to swarm them, actually. Very good turn to swarm the gutters, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to make those uh, gutters roll dice as much as possible. I like this guy double GFI, right? One, two, three, four, five, and then double GFI to trap them around the back. In fact, what he could do is he could go one, two, three, four, five, dodge, and double GFI and get right round the back. <laughs> and this guy could that's have been a little, up that's here. a little optimistic there, but uh, yes, put, putting someone behind. Well, because yeah, this is just twos away, right? Like this is this yeah, is too yeah, easy. Yeah, that's twos. That's two. They are making just twos. I mean, as you put someone behind the gutters, more or less, uh, you have guaranteed that the player behind the gutters is the one getting the blitz. Mm. So that relieves a lot of pressure around your, uh, the rest of your team. Yeah, I would have liked that, honestly. I would have liked, I'd like to have really piled in. But this is just letting them two plus away. Exposing the Lino, which is very nice, isn't it? You want this guy hit with my yeah, blow, I mean, not, not one of your good players. Or Glynos are uh, for what they are. Oh God, Nickelback! <laughs> I I didn't mention neither uh, Justin Bieber. Oh, good old Biebs. Which, which uh, yeah, yeah, Justin Bieber involved uh, as a victim, probably as a 
in a big, big event that once again proves that Eminem is always right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it makes I bet it makes everyone feel a bit uh, feel a bit bad for having a go at Bieber all those years now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rush, oh, the band Rush, yes. Yeah, I've never heard of them apart from Blood Bowlers telling me that they're really good and famous. <laughs> the That's only... mental. That's mental. <laughs> I mean, they have been in so many movie soundtracks that is absolutely embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of them. Alright, now he can really get round the back, right? Blitz the wrestle tackle and then get right round the back. Okay, so he's used the other gutter to stop him, but can still get into them. I mean he's get oh, he's got a lot of field space, right? He can push right forward this turn. Okay, he can he completely abandons this guy, but the whole team can like blob forward to here, which is yeah, great. yeah, yeah. There is a lot of space. He can't even uh, depend on the results of this uh, first uh, the first block. Some deep penetration. He could have uh, so many options to people to hit, but I guess blitzing the Russell uh, tackle piece is. Oh, he was going for the other one. I, that's the other option, good option they had there. Gets the full pow. Yeah, so just going for the fighty thing rather than the trying to chase scooters fruitlessly, just trying to bang out I mean, his he's banger. The, he's the only guard that uh, he has, so yeah. it makes sense that the... Uh, I like it. He makes the one-turners if you don't have a guard or uh, whatever it is. I mean, in general, only having one guard and losing it is a massive uh, problem. Massive equity shift. Now, those rats on the ground just lying there are uh, a problem. Because, yes, you can, you know, base them with guard pieces and something like that. But you don't have to have uh, rats behind you. Mm. Not even in Blood Bowl or even in real life, <laughs> especially in real life. <laughs> yep. Yeah, if you look behind you and you see a rat, you have probably done a mistake at some point during that day. <laughs> okay, he's moving a little to the right, creating a massive block of orcs. Yeah, this is no, okay, right? He's got, the, he's got the guards on either side, and he's yeah, on either corner. Guards on either corner, and he's keeping the whole team together, right? My way would have abandoned the uh, would have abandoned this orc, so maintaining this orc's relevancy and trying to outbang, which is fine. This is completely, completely reasonable. Keeping all the down players occupied. This is a yeah. very good turn. Very good turn from Spartacus, I'd say. And also being so close to the middle means that the gutters can't focus in only one side of the pitch, so they have to move a little, which is going to create some space at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice turn. Maybe I'm too keen to get forward. Turn four panic, as uh, Dimmy would say. We do have a black orb to try and pick off. But not with Mighty Blow, because he puts the Mighty Blow there, so... Uh, no wrestle. Keeps him in com contact. Uh -huh. Wouldn't have done you see, that. that's, a, that's a random line, so... Maybe that's, you know, a nice exchange, keeping a... big one with a... Random line up. It's not what I would have done, but I mean, no, that was a great decision. Great decision, keeping his players based up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that comes with a problem that that piece is going to get destroyed next turn, and then there's going to be three dice, could be three dice on that uh, gutter with tackle without any risk for uh, Spartacus. He just basically just based the mighty blow tackler. 
Wow, wow, wow. Boah. Wow, wow, wow. Boah. This is, uh, this is rowdy. This is rowdy rap play. I guess it's paid off for him up to this point, but, you know, it it, it works till it doesn't, right? You know, at the end of the day. Um, yeah, yeah, this is a very strong old team, you know, this... Uh, as it is going to be a lot of uh, punches the rats this time. Yeah, this is a lot of blocks. A lot of blocks. The great thing about this is, as well, he gets to put guard in there and 2D him, and then he'll have two guards who can three dice this gutter, which is very nice. And then cage up through here, or he can just punch, punch, and, you know, blitz this one on three as well. He's got, he's, he's got really too many options of what he can hit. <laughs> Just make all the blocks and hope for the best. He needs to win, yes, but uh, to win you need players. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot easier to win with 11 players than with six. <laughs> <laughs> um, is basically is basically the problem. Oh, he's right. thinking about the reroll, but chooses not to. Mm. Yeah, I'd definitely try to get three dice on, on the gutter. And there you go, follows up, gives him another free. Ooh, doesn't get him. Very annoying. Does knock him down and keeps him on two guard, which is nice. But now he's kind of punched with too many players. So yeah, he's going to stay put. He really needed a follow to keep him on two players. And he's kind of used all of his men to punch. Actually, wouldn't have punched with this guy. Like, you know, he got the follow-up block here. That's what I wouldn't have done. I would have... Uh, I'd have pushed this guy away so this guy could have come around here. So that's maybe a little bit of over blocking there. Well, but it got him a chance. Gets a badly hard. So is there such a thing as over blocking? Probably not. <laughs> Making two dice blocks is really, really, really good. Um, hello, Mad Skills. This game is dedicated to Canada Mad Skills. Mm. And we have discovered that a lot of people uh, are Canadian and they were uh, keeping it hidden. <laughs> keeping it hidden. <laughs> I mean, if anyone tells you a few hours ago that William Sander is Canadian, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> true, true. Oh, Hello, David. No, oh, well, we're in the old uh, thinking phase now. I don't think there's anything new. Just stays where he is, right? Oh no, well he is moving. Ah, he's going to base up around him because you know it's an uphill anyway. So he's like uphill, my bludger. Don't give a shit. Which is fair. I really liked following with this guy though on this one. Like yes, it lets the gutter out for free, but it stops you getting smashed by mighty blow. Like your tackle mighty blow getting smashed by his mighty blow. Um, that would have been enough for me. Well, maybe not right because he could have just broke tackle away anyway. So yeah, maybe it was correct to uh, hold the space. They're not really right because it just you just assist blitz and then you've got your two plus help. So yeah, maybe just oh, uh, oh it's cost him in the absolute all right. way. That's, <laughs> that's a big result. <laughs> 
Apple fails. Apple fails. Oh no. Disaster for Spartacus. Lost half of his mighty blow and half of his tackle in the same block. Wow. wow. That was a good result for the rats. Incredible result for the rats. Flip me. My cat has come, uh, the kitten has come to watch it. Mm. Now his little bed in front of the screen. Lovely. And then, yeah, and he gets the two plus out. Yeah, honestly, if he'd done it, <laughs> um, I hate to, you know, brag at how brilliant I am at blood ball. But if he'd made the initial block with this break tackle just guard her right then he would have been the one basing the mighty blow and if he'd done that block first then he then he blitz the butter then uh, his mighty blow tackler would not have been the one hit by mighty blow and then okay this guy's still removed but it's much better to get this guy removed than your mighty blow tackler right you've really got to look after your mighty blow tackler in this matchup yes yes tackle is a uh, very relevant here Ooh, we get to hit this one though with Juggernaut, that's nice. Three dice with Juggernaut. I think this is Juggernaut. Yep. So, get to splat oh, this. Oh, there you go, there you go, go. it's happening. Safe moves first. Mm. It's confidence. <laughs> it's all about the confidence. It's about the confidence, you know, it's about the mind game. He could go in there, couldn't he? It's not super exciting. Gets the pow. Well, he can take the boat down. He does, so... Ah, but he doesn't oh, get round the corner, so he can't foul it as well. Well, he can if he if he moves this black orc up to be the cage corner, then he can foul with plus two, which he might. Ah, uh, yeah, he should have uh, moved one square to the left, probably that uh, blitzer. It was a GFI that was the problem. So it was a GFI, yeah. So maybe he should have I stayed mean... where he was, right? And then he could have moved the the lineman around to get a three assist instead of a two assist foul. But oh. he finds another way to get the expelled, but he has a bribe. No, 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 that's it just comes up waiting for you to bribe when you argue the call. So ah, okay, the okay, call. okay, 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 okay. Okay, I was surprised there. <laughs> two so yeah, gone. two players lost for the orcs. That's a uh, very unfortunate. Yeah, they're capped at ten players now. Wow, that, that really helps the one turn as well. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I knew he was going to foul, but. Ugh. Terrible foul, not even armor break. Yeah. Yeah, great for the one turn, yeah. And now, suddenly, Spartacus is in a lot of trouble, even if he, he looks like he has the situation under control. Yeah, yeah, but he is in a lot of trouble. A bit of a pickle, if you Yes, uh, and here comes another hit. Hello, Cole. So, the K Fog, uh, yeah, from Wantanas. I'm an expert in Wantanas. Yep. The world's foremost expert in one turners. I think that's fair to say. And you know, funnily enough, in the age of the internet, there's no real reason for that, is there? At the end of the day, everybody could be as good at, at him at one turning, right? He's made he's made a bunch of YouTube videos. You know, there's no excuse for somebody not watching all of those and practicing one turns as much as he does and just being as good as one turns as him. But I mean, I could really watch is. these videos, or I could watch one of the Bonehead podcasts. I mean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, people have to make decisions. Um, time is limited. <laughs> fair, fair. Sorry, I didn't think it through. <laughs> yeah. 
it's which funny, I don't have any problem <laughs> with the people doing the Bonehead podcast, just that I think they give advice that is not as top as they it should be. Yes. Yes, that's fair to say. Lovely people, but um, not as good as Big Kev is at Blood Bowl, is very fair to say. Well, Ali, that's your fault. You only have you to blame for that. Yeah, that was a bad yes, decision. Can, it was you, the one that grabbed the dice, <laughs> shake the hand, and threw the dice. So there you go. Bad decision, Ali. Tsk tsk. You can get one square forward here, can't you? Uh, probably should. There are levels to one turn in July, for sure. I mean, you know, like, I mean, but that, what I'm saying is, like, it's not like K Fog has some magical secret ability. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, he's not like, he's not like you say in ball, is he, right? I mean, well, he's he's about the same height as him. But, like, he's not, you know what I mean? Like, he's not a genetic freak that's made him a god at one turning. Like, he's just a normal, a normal human being who's learned how to do it. And other people could learn how to do it if they wanted. Especially now, as he's, like, many basically levels. told them how to. Yeah, there are levels of complexity depending on the strength of the opposing team and all that. But the same way that in chess... There are, you know, uh, mid uh, gameplays, openings, and all that that you can learn. Mm. One turning is something also something that you can learn. It's just, you know, uh, some basic concepts, some ideas. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's it's a lot more like kind of black and white than you know, penetration and and. Uh, cover and pressure and you know all that kind of stuff like everything else is just like hard to like define isn't it and hard to like there's so many concepts in blood bowl that are hard to even define never mind you know exactly you know it's a one turner is when you have the player with juggernaut skill one turn before teams that have one side step or two side steps on the line etc etc there are many many layers Oh yeah, it's it's hard. Like I'm not saying it's easy to be as good as Core, but people could be <laughs> if they wanted to be. They could be if they really wanted to be. If they put in the work, it would be a lot of work. He's really good, but the point is they actually could be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Carl. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm not saying it's easy to be as good as him. He's number one. He is the number one, and like, I'd, I'd say Elliot's, you know, close, and uh, Olivier Delac's close, but to me, Cole's still number one. And uh, you know, I think I'm pretty good at one turning, even though I never get to do it right. <laughs> so like, if I played Skaven more, I'd be better at it for sure, just from practice, right? And so I imagine Chunt is quite good just from pure practice, and uh, maybe Inarian as well, right? Like people like that, people. Because, you know, there's people like uh, Artemis who just don't do one turns, right? And and um, Dave, all right? Like, you know, so there's there's really good players that just don't really do one turns ever. So they're not going to be as good as the people who play Skaven who do them all the time. Spartacus has spent a lot of his time bank, now that I see. Yeah, hasn't he? Yeah. Didn't get a square forward last turn either. I would have really liked to have got a square. I think every square counts, you know. Like, I know he's moving seven, so he can get nine squares forward here. Doesn't, but... uh, doesn't matter. Every scatter counts. You can get a push. You can have to do things like that. The more you advance, the closer you are. Yeah. You are moving uh, seven. I said the optimum distance has been six squares. I mean, the optimum distance is 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 literally one, isn't it? <laughs> or maybe two, I mean, right? I mean, for maybe a stall, two. for a stall, yeah. uh, something like that. Keeping the time together. Yeah. Oh, he's got he's got to channel here. So yeah, he's got to get the gutter in there. No, oh, it's not really in there. So we can just blitz this guy and moves Morsey on right through, or this guy and go. Maybe he's a bit too close to the sideline, so he probably wants to blitz one of these uh, gutters 
And, uh, yes, especially the one without Russell makes it an easy target, 75%. Taking, getting the takedown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would be the this would be the easier way to go, but then you jams you on the sideline a bit, doesn't it? And you are uh, risking getting a you know one in nine result that have to use wrestle and you lose a player. Well, he's got juggernaut. This one's got juggernaut. So ah, he's got juggernaut. Are you this is, this happy is days. The, yeah, this is the best one to go for if you can. But that's a lino. Yeah, the other one is a, the a gutter. Yeah. The other one is a gutter, you know. Oh, this one doesn't even have block. Okay, no, you definitely want to go for this gutter. Exactly. I yeah. said block. I said like, once again. Oh my god. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so you could just run around and hit him. Yeah, just nail, just nail the gutter and then go through. Simple pimple. Block this guy to free this lino. Oh, wait a minute. What complicates thing is this. This lineman is not actually stood here. He stood here. <laughs> oh, visual bug. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. That's if uh, Spartacus also has the same bag, that could be, you know, suddenly an orc doing a dodge. Mm. <laughs> By surprise. <laughs> yep. Wait, didn't do the block, the three dice with the tackle piece? No. I'm disappointed. I must, you know, he, he must have a plan on where everyone's going to go to get the ball forward, so. Fair enough. Yeah, Strider did some good one turns, I think, didn't he? In the in the thing, so you know, so like that's a. It it does matter playing a team that can actually do one turns means you get practice at doing one turns and makes you better. But um, apart from that, it just there's still. Ooh, oh no, it doesn't matter. Errata, errata. I was like, he's going to block his path because I thought he could only reach there, but I just didn't. I didn't count. He's got a GFI, hasn't he, at the end? I guess that's why he's waiting until the end. Yep. He's got a full cage. <laughs> this okay, blocks the invisible he gets man. to hit the, the piece. Use a team reroll because, yeah, he has a lot of them. Yep. And that's a very nice, tidy cage. Yep, there's no guard on the back, so we could go in for an uphill with Wrestle Tackle Pro. So I don't know whether he's going to go for that or not. There's also a gate dodge to get there. Ooh, double skulls. Ooh All right, gets the gets the pow. And he used to reroll, so I guess he's going for the ball sack. Because unless you're I going mean, for the ball sack, you're not stopping the score, and you've just used a reroll that you could use for your one turn. Interesting. He could. Uh... Yeah, I mean, just basing the ball is not going to be enough. For mm. obvious reasons, uh, by the size of the guys surrounding the ball. <laughs> so, you need, you need to base the ball with, I don't, I don't know, six players. Do you want to go with that? And yeah, here we are. We're going to go in for the uphill. Wrestle, tackle and pro. So he can re-roll. Uh, he doesn't re-roll the push. So he just gets the push. And he can use the team reroll to reroll pro. He could, yeah, he could. But he wants the one turn, and having two rerolls for the one turn maybe is a better equity. Yeah, he's got to think about it, hasn't he? he needs the question like... is, is if even if it works, which uh, works 60% uh, of the time, the reroll here to reroll the. Uh, it's a five plus, the it's push. essentially it can, a five it can plus. Be, it can be a push result anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a turnover. Yeah, so he doesn't... Wait, no, he does re-roll it. Wait, he re-rolled them both down? <laughs> okay, so oh he misclicked anyway. God. He misclicked anyway. He was clicking it, that re-roll is spent. I mean, I mean, what a brilliant uh, move by Tumbi is there, you know, he should do that in the World Cup. Fantastic play. Oh my play. god, that's so unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, he rolled a push anyway, so it's all right. 
but yeah, that was four. I, I don't know, Jim. I think there is a chance, uh, and he can reroll this. He has to take it. There is a chance that the orcs managed to get the two dice and many rats to free the ball carrier, or the ball carrier can free himself. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Sure Hands. Yeah. He, but he hasn't got strip. He's got tackle, wrestle, pro. Yeah. He it was in a, it's not the Sure Hands because I was thinking, uh, oh, it doesn't have a strip. But no, 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 no. I think could be something very confusing in the UI, you know, when you yeah. roll. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be UI issue. It has to be. So, yeah, you use pro. Pails, use the roll. There's a lot of icons on the screen there. Or maybe it's a visual uh, back and actually re roll the bot down. <laughs> but then, it, but he's, he's rolled, yeah, it could be, but yeah, it seems weird, all right, because it says push, push. So, did he blitz there? He should have blitzed. I don't know if he did blitz or not, but he should have blitzed. But, um, I think he's gonna blitz with the ball carrier. He should definitely blitz there, right? So that he could have got it down on a. Could have knocked him down on a both down. Would have been ideal. And then he can just block the blockless block on 3D. Jimmy! Or he can blitz! Yeah, but it's it's like, I mean, he's still gonna re roll the triple down anyway, so I think it was worth blitzing. Uh, I didn't even blitz anyway. Yeah, he should have definitely blitz to use Juggernaut. He's gonna be greedily gonna do a two D blitz. That oh yeah, because there's no there's no block on this one. Okay, fair enough. I keep getting bamboozled by this tackle first gutter. You just assume that a, ta a gutter with yeah, one skill is block or wrestle, yeah, but, but yeah, he's obviously rolled a random on it. Right, so he gets the score done. He's down to ten players. Right. The KO comes back thanks to the blood wasted uh, kicks. All is good, Gold Stacker. All is good. Yeah, only 10 players to stop this. Oh, two stand firms. Yeah, he's got two stand firm, but only 10 players. If he'd have three stand firm, he'd be all right here. Yeah, yeah. You already see that a few times. But I mean, it's the piece without the stand firm uh, has to strength for with two guards next to him. So. True. I'd say that's a serious uh, one turn defense. True. In the like, LOS. He could probably just uh, blitz one of these guys to score now. Like this guy. Just dodge there with a the gutter runner. And then push him. <laughs> push him back. Like, do dodge tw like, dodge a gutter in there. And then fill all of these, and then blitz him, and then chain like the sidestepper up one. Very easy, but an inconvenience. <laughs> yep. That's probably easier than messing around the center here with all the stand firms. That's probably the way to do it, is to probably blitz from here. Push into there. Into there. Into there. See, this is one of the cases when one turner is very complicated, and that's understandable people not being able to get the one turn here. Mm. But in the basic setups, you know, with uh, low uh, teams with uh, not that many skills and things like that, the basics are the basics. Yep. I say that as a person that I haven't watched K Forge videos, you know, because <laughs> there was a, a very interesting thumbnail in the Bonehead podcast, so I say, oh my god, this looks uh, good. But but I neither play Blue Bull either, so there you go. <laughs> and after all, why should I advise uh, K Forge advice when he retreats from me when we played on Marvel Snap? <laughs> Yep. 
So it looks like he could be going for it. I don't know if he's going to play. It needs a lot of players. It needs, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It needs nine players in these squares and then a tenth to blitz. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think he's uh, praying for a nine. quick snap. And ten, and then it's a one for the ball. So you need a gutter on the LOS there. You need a gutter to blitz. And then, so, you, so you've got, you need a gutter to fill that square. And then guard here, and then another player there, and then a gutter blitzer, so he gets two dice. And then he pushes into there, which pushes into there, which pushes into there, which gets him forward. I mean, it takes a lot of players, but he's got them. He's, he's got he's got a full eleven, so it's definitely possible. And he's making the maths. He has run the numbers. Mm -hmm. Quick snap or a riot there are also options as we saw the other day. Those are like a one in six or something like that. Oh god, yeah, yeah. The, the right, the quick, the quick snaps ridiculous, right? He just gets the push for free, then instant, instantly done, and then blitzes him, and it's no dodges. There you go, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the, uh, uh, timeout is also insanely easy. He just blitzes through, gets a massive screen, super easy touchdown. Using part of his time back now, this is one of these uh, times when you want you need time to think uh, stuff. Mm. And the cap is now, now there is a resurrection format. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's quite good at being res, like in terms of, you know, it keeps the playoffs, like the TV cap and the res combined, right? It means that at yeah. least everything's somewhat fair. Safe as those uh, hilarity games we have seen in the past, you know, like that. but yeah, yeah, makes it more competitive. Yeah. Probably benefits more low armor uh, teams for obvious reasons because they lose more players. But but when you get your uh, death piece, uh, uh, top player, strength player, death, you are thankful that you will have it uh, for the next game. Yeah, if Spartacus makes this through, he'd be very happy to have this blitzer for the final only. So. So the fact that he's moved this around, he's put the gut around the allies, makes me think that he has spotted the correct way to do it. High kick. High kick. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That's absolutely huge. You can start off with a pass, actually, right? The first thing's first, he just wants to get it to him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is an instant full pass. A play you don't see much nowadays is they change the rules and make passing the most awkward, confusing and difficult thing they could do. <laughs> yep. No happy about that. I'm I'm sad because I liked elves passing when I was playing elves. <laughs> yeah. All right, so he's got that. Yeah. Okay, well, this is this is a lot of rolls. If this happens, it's absolutely insane. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, they're all there. They're all there for it. You can, oh, yeah, you can yeah, fill yeah, everything yeah, they're here. all there. Yeah, yeah. That, he, that was one, one of the hardest uh, rolls. I three, mean, three, three, 2D. It's, it's really quite easy now. The hardest roll was the, the 4 plus dodge. The fact that he's seen it. Seeing it is the hardest part, right? And That's there you the go, you know, you thought do. it was a level 79 coach, but this guy has games under his belt. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, this is not looking good for me in the World Cup that he is uh, 
you know, as good as me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not talking about the, you know, Tombis is not a local league, uh, local shop uh, coach. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, t he took a bit longer than I did, but still. <laughs> He's oh doing God. exactly the right play. And there you go, he gets the push, the push, the sidestep. Didn't get the power, but you know, it doesn't matter. And now he just gets yeah, the score, two yeah. reels. What, what a cheesy uh, one's done. He's got a, uh, he's got sure feet as well anyway, so yeah. Easy. What, what a cheesy one done, he didn't even kill the player. <laughs> 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 That was, the, that was the problem with having three stand firm, right? With three stand firm, he puts them there and he puts these back line. But he, had to, he, he felt that he had to put something to stop, you know, this guy getting pushed. Um, and, you know, he did. Whereas if he'd had three stand firm, it's totally shut down, but yeah. I don't think, uh, I don't think Spartacus' defence was bad, given the circumstances and the play that he has available. Yeah. Because yes, he has to put something there to avoid the pushes there because you know even he's gonna be red dice and all that. Yeah. You know how that works. <laughs> Could he have been one square further back? And uh Yeah, it would have still been a screen, wouldn't it? So just uh, yeah, he probably should have been one square further back than what he was. Um No, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Yes, caution, this is live, yeah. Yeah, this is life. Yeah, chicken. Yeah, the line should be one square back. Yeah. One square back was the key. There you go. You learn something every day. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, caution. It's not like it's not that ridiculous, is it? I mean, it probably just worked it out. You can't say. You can't say that. That. Uh, that he's here. Yeah. Nah, I don't think so. That I've given him that at all. I mean, I'm not I'm good at one turning, <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know it's not common, but you know, this guy's only lost one game getting here with Skaven. He's like twenty-eight-three-one record. You know, just because you haven't heard of him, doesn't mean that he isn't good, right? He could be someone else. He could be a long time veteran of the Blood Bowl scene. Wait, nobody knows who is him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, could be if Cole he wins, or something. if he wins the challenge, you know what happens. I want to claim. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter, right? This is just this is just chalice anyway. But yeah. I guess. Also, it's a guy that obviously knows how to play Blood Bowl. He has to qualify for the World Cup. Etc. Etc. Yeah. No, but for, yeah, for the World Cup, for the World Cup, for the World Cup, could do could do the stream on a delay, and could just five go, minutes delay. This is tough. Five minutes delay is more than enough time to be safe. Yeah, and could just do because... things like, "Oh, this is tough." The problem is it kills chat interaction, but I guess you know. So what? Fuck chat. <laughs> no offense, everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, like in the World Cup, it's worse. Like for this, it doesn't really matter, right, Chalice? It doesn't really matter. I, I don't think it would affect anything. And even if it did, it's not something they couldn't get anywhere else anyway, right? There's, you know, there's nothing to stop Tumish being on a voice call with Olivier Dulac or, you know, somebody. I'm not, I'm not tarnishing him as a cheat, you know what I mean? Like, but, you know, somebody as good as that. And and then you know and just having you know and you know Spartacus could be on a on a you know a call with somebody else and stuff so you know you know like there's nothing stopping people doing that is it that, that, like I thought yeah, uh, another high kick and also it was the only option it was the for only. the one time yeah it was the only the others yeah. were dismissed very quickly yeah. And it's funny as well because you know, saying you know, like saying that anyone can be as good as Kfrog by watching his videos, you know, like they could, right? Somebody could just like it, you know. First of all, his record is amazing in this in this season, twenty eight three one. And yes, it's not a normal one turn. It was a good one turn, but just because it was a good one turn doesn't mean that he got it by watching the stream at all, does it? 
at all. And and the amount of time you took to explain the play, if it was applied to in-game in time, you know, he was listening every single step, he would have run out of time. Mm -hmm. Not because we were talking, talking bullshit for a few minutes before you started doing the explanation. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anyone's fucking sitting watching this. He already, he tips. already had, he already had the setup done when you started, you know, actually explaining it step by step. Yeah, yeah. I really, I really don't think anybody who's in the semi-finals of Chalice is sitting watching my stream hoping for cool tips. <laughs> You know, come on. Come on, man. And now he's going for uh, a Daka, which is a uh, 100% uh, right play. Yep. Glorious Daka. Oh, can I see him? Yes. Yeah, people. <laughs> um. How to defend against a frenzy dagger? It's literally impossible, Chicken. Literally impossible. <laughs> I found out. <laughs> I found out it was completely impossible to defend against a frenzy dagger. Oh dear. I just stay here. I just stay just inside. Because if you like pressuring's good, you get you get blocks, you force dice rolls, but just standing about here is pretty good defense, right? Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like you know, it's hard for them to break through. So you can just wait there, and then they'll. The problem is they'll move up anyway, right? Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, against Adaka as the defender, you have to try to put as much pressure as early as possible, make things complicated, make things having to do roles. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Uguay. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't tell. I didn't tell him how to do it. I just explained. I explained to chat how it was possible. But um, I really don't think I really don't think the semi-finals. A guy's got twenty-eight, three-one with Skaven is going to be in the stream watching for tips. That seems like such a bad idea. Such a bad idea for a thing to do. Very good idea. But but for the World Cup, for the World Cup, I could think about doing it today. Or, or just think about what I'm saying for the World Cup. The, the World Cup makes sense, but even then, I still think it'd be kind of a mad thing for somebody to do, just because it would be hard. Like you know, what I mean? first of all, they've got to think that I'm better than them. Number one, <laughs> number one, they've got to think that I'm better than them. Um, and then, yeah, exactly. It's a one turn that needs one push. It's not the hard. I, I agree, Chicken. You're basically just saying he's not as good as me, and then he's watching. To be as good as me, but like or, it's or not he hard could to have be as gone. good as me. And the same argument can be said he could have gone to watch K Forge uh, video really quickly at the <laughs> two point five speed watch it. Okay, okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. And also he could have seven friends in a Discord call telling him how to move every single piece. <laughs> Um, I don't know if there's shit. I, I think there's shit being thrown at Tumish's coaching level. He's gone twenty-eight, three-one with Skaven, and he has a one-push gutter runner. So like, it's basically shades being thrown at him for for not being good. Which there's no reason to think he's not good enough to have spotted that himself. Number one, I think he, I think he has probably is good. The only mistake uh, he did was the pro thing, and that could have been a. UI bag. Yeah, yeah, that had to be, yeah. I like a misclick or a bug, yeah. And, uh, the, but there is a valid concern for the World Cup. But, but again, like for the World Cup, they'd have to, they would still have to think I'm better than them and put up with just, you know, listening to ram, rambling constantly and it just, you know, and they Sorry, could just. They have you to know, think that 
you are you and the rest of the booth are better than them you know i'm out yes. of here yes yeah, sorry fine i mean sorry it's just that i was on the one turn but yes fair, fair enough you yeah, you, yeah, you know you yeah, do yeah, say yeah. things as well could be K -Fog, if k Fog was in the in the booth right now he will have given a full explanation <laughs> about whom to do properly and nobody will have said anything and i have to remind everybody <laughs> that i'm probably the strongest uh, member of the blood bowl uh, community true, as true. i can prove lifting weights like that. so come true. on and give the guy credit where he is due. He was a good play. If every single time someone makes a good play, we're going to go, oh, clearly, clearly listening to Jimmy, clearly listening to Jimmy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. And this could be the alias of someone that's been playing thousands of hours in a uh, blood ball. Yeah. Yeah. But it is fair. It is fair. It's a fair point for like the World Cup cast to. to... Uh, yeah, side, yeah, yeah, it's a point. It's a point to be made there. But here, I mean, the guy is level 79 and qualifies for the World Cup and uh, gets this record to rats and all that. Come on, this is a smart account, and you all know it. <laughs> yeah, this is not a guy that bought Blue Ball three two months ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Well, he might have bought it two months ago, but it was it was to qualify for the World Cup because he already knew he was really good. <laughs> No, no, because you need many more months to get used to the Blood Bowl 3 environment. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. K -Fog, even K Fog struggled with that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's, it's, I think the idea, the idea is fair that, you know, to err on the side of caution for the World Cup. Yeah. And also, again, he could have a. Uh, Five people on a Discord call, you know, sharing the screen and do this, do this, do this, do this every single time. True, true. I think that would be quite strong, honestly, just having somebody in a Discord call just saying, safe moves first. And that's literally all they say to you ever is, safe moves first. <laughs> and I think that would make everybody better. Like, you could make a macro, fun. you could make a macro that every single time you click the mouse, you know, you hear a voice saying, safe moves first. God, yeah, that's not safe a bad idea, first. actually. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> a timer, you know, every three minutes, safe moves first. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, don't leave the server. Exactly, you would have right. It wouldn't have taken a very good player on a on a on a on a Discord call with me to have versus treat to have said, "Don't you gonna leave the server there? You absolute idiot!" And I would have said, "Holy shit!" Right? Like, so you know, it doesn't take it really doesn't take good players saying anything or like spotting amazing players to help a lot. It just it, you know, it just it just just take a second pair of eyes. They don't even have to be good eyes. Look, look, there is a very easy way to check if he was. Uh watching the stream or not after the game before he uh, someone needs to ask him where is William Sanders from <laughs> and if he says Canada he was watching the stream <laughs> absolutely fine <laughs> that would be conclusive proof. Percent proof unless he's Canadian unless he's Canadian then in that case yeah he gets a pass yeah, he's Russian I think because he, he, he scheduled with Crucifer in Russian so. Okay, wait, could be this guy, the guy that the uh, allegedly uh, won one of the CCL Cups that people say that I won? <laughs> yeah, it could be him, yeah. Could be, I don't know. Skaven, I mean, there, there could be a lot of really good Russian coaches that we haven't heard of, you know, like, to be fair. I think this is a, probably someone that we have heard before or has another nick in the past and now he's uh, going with this one. It is late in the half here, mind. It's turn turn 14 that was. He got that good runner through. He could have easily failed that dodge through as well. But now with only 10 players, he can't send the tackler back to hit him without weakening his line. Oof. Oof. Is he gonna try I mean he could we can hear, right? The fact that it's turn fourteen, he could he could just move this guy over, he could shuffle these around. He could blitz this guy with tackle. And block him and block him and you know, move him down, block, block, block. And then move a couple over because it's really hard to get around the end.
Exactly, Dwyer, exactly. Yeah, yeah like, you really... It is, weir it is a weird one. It is a weird one, um, Blood Bowl advice, because, yeah, you could have... Like, just having somebody saying really basic stuff could really help a lot of the time. But then also, you know, something complicated like a one turn is more trouble than it's worth to try and listen to somebody to do better at. You could have somebody. You could also have someone remotely accessing your PC as well, couldn't you? And just literally playing for I'm you. Playing, playing for you. Yes. I mean, there's mm. so many things you can do. Uh, there's mentally good, and I think this is the wrong way to go. And I say taking a throwing shades or something like that. I think Tom is a good play. We have done gone through this millions of times and never been a problem. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, no, it's, this yeah. is like saying in the in the you know uh, Champions League final, you know. <laughs> Uh, Guardiola is listening to Gary Lineker, you know, and trying to get the uh, cues from there. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, guys, 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 I have the plan for the next half. <laughs> and if that's not control in a uh, competition with billions in play, <laughs> you know, it's the key. Oh, wait, wait a second, Guardiola is opening a bag of chips. He's cheating, he's cheating. <laughs> he's listening to Gary. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that would be great, wouldn't it? You could you could have it. You could have like a you could have a conglomerate of coaches playing with you. And you could be like, right, I'm um, we're making LOS blocks. Off you go, Andy. Oh, three removals. <laughs> there you go. The actual team play. The actual team play. Right, we're going for a sack. Off you go, Chunter. Oh, look, double uphills. We get we get the double powers. Eleven, we got the ball. Eleven players, eleven coaches. You know, it's one makes the rules for one piece. Yeah. Right now, one turn time. Off you go, K Fog. <laughs> that would be the, un the unbeatable team of players. <laughs> He's just got to stand this guy up, hasn't he? But yeah, he is weak in the centre. He's got to move. He had to move somebody else over. The, the like this is not good enough. He had to. He had to move like probably this guy to there, and that guy to there, and that guy to there. Also, like this guy just gets punched, and then the guard can come in, and then he can punch him. So he's got to probably try and dodge as well. But yeah, blitz this guy, right, and then go through there. Is the obvious play. Question is, will this go to overtime? There's still a rolls to be made here, but I think the rats are going to find a way. Yeah, they're very fast, aren't they? Now, the orcs are not as slow as they used to be. But uh, still, this is going to get decided in uh, just a handful of uh, rolls. Yep. Of, of course, Naf has that kind of thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not throwing shade. Oh, my God. You lot also, are... <laughs> also for the people listening outside the Jimmy's house, you don't need a TV license to watch Blood Bowl. <laughs> I discovered the other day that the TV license uh, company, the enforcers of the TV license, are based in Darlington. That explains a lot. <laughs> oh, dub scores! Oh, dub scores. Okay, four rerolls, that's a lot of rerolls. Exactly, Chigan, exactly right. De defense, put PC on. One turn, put KFOG on. And every time you make a block, put Devo on. <laughs> what a glorious team. I, I don't really do a lot. I would just, uh, I would just pick the team. That's my contribution. <laughs> there you go. I'm at the way Calcium. That's what happens when you play Blue Bowl. You should have learned by now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that boy is fast. Yeah, he's really fast. Dionysus is uh, not Dionysian, by the way, Calcium. So it's uh, 
You are lucky there. Yeah, it's not as bad as it could have been. It doesn't change the fact that you're playing Blood Bowl on a Sunday. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's nearly because he can. Uh, I still do, you know. It has the orc there. He has to base that orc. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. There you go. Oh, could have done two GFIs and bases him in the top uh, left. Yeah, th this stops other like orcs coming through though, right? And stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, true. This guy could true. be the one that does it because he's got break tackle, so he could he could dodge off him and then dodge in here, and that might be better overall. Because he got somebody to cancel the assist there, whereas he's got like double dodge, right? And he's, he can't. Yeah, I don't know, you can still hit from here anyway. You can go up and then down to here. But there's tackles everywhere. This is the problem for these is everyone's got tackle. All of his gutters have got tackles, so he doesn't get to use dodge. So yeah, this guy is definitely the best one to come in. Um, there's him. I feel absolutely astonishing that the fact that the older gutters have a tackle is going to be such an important factor. <laughs> it's hilarious, I am isn't it? Surprised. I feel absolutely defeated by the <laughs> by Tombi's uh, master uh, way of thinking. This is absolutely incredible. It's actually it is actually incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Mass you tackle know, against say, orcs. You wouldn't have believed that. Every skill be has a time to shine. Doesn't matter what the skill it is. You know it can be useful. Better to have it than not to have it. <laughs> there you go, guys. There you go. <laughs> Fucking orc with dodge. There's <laughs> one player with dodge on the team, and he's surrounded the by tackle. On the, team, <laughs> the one player on the team is the one suddenly surrounded by three guys with tackle, <laughs> which are gutter runners, and one of them only has tackle. <laughs> That's the only thing that would help him, because he, otherwise he could dodge out and then dodge in there. <laughs> Flip and tackle. Oh man! But no, that's interesting about the about the about the. It is an interesting point about the commentary. I'll I'll ask I'll ask Vitek what he thinks uh, if it if it could be a thing or not. I think maximum two minutes delay or something like that. Or there is a way you can watch the game, start watching the game after it started? No, you can't do that, no. Oh, sadness. Right, oh, and that's... Double one. Yeah, double one, that's it. That's... that's mm. uh, two GFIs, two GFIs. It's not over. Two, three percents. <laughs> well, well, cancel my... <laughs> And here we go, guys! It's our time! <laughs> and Holy maybe a surf. shit! Maybe Holy a... shit! He can surf this one. And punch things. Wow. Flippin' rats. And even a score! Can he score? Oh man. Oh man. Two GF fights, two GF fights with the blitzer on the ground. Yeah, and then long ball. He got the ball, has two hands, sticks plus pass. Yeah, and then just scores. I mean, no need not to try it. Well, maybe I wouldn't invest a reroll on it. Unless it's the catcher with a three plus or something like that. Yeah, but not many catches. Yeah, he should definitely have. Uh, what he should have done was uh, score in the middle, right, and then had like a gutter over there and a gutter, uh, well, he didn't need a gutter over there. He could have had like yeah, gutters just three gutters screening this guy, right? The three gutters could have screened him, and then he could have run over. There. Oh, Kaz. oh, oh. Also, he is going for the he is going for the score. Look, he yep. He's the fact he's blitzed him means he's going for the score on this guy. He's 
go oh, now. Oh, it's Spartacus watching the stream now. You know, I am. <laughs> people are starting throwing shit at me. Come on, me. Come on, me. Cast me outside. Cast me outside. Oh, there you go. Don't reroll it. Don't reroll it. Don't it. Chaos himself. Oh my god. <laughs> he shouldn't have listened oh to you, Fami. <laughs> oh no, he comes back. He comes back. Oh, safe, safe. You know, it was just for dramatic effect. <laughs> Oh, and, and the Oaks have won themselves. Who would have said, Jim, who would have said, Jim, that not moving the three gutters to take care of that bleacher was a case of not doing safe moves first? Mm -hmm. There you go. Safe moves first, always. I might get, you know, you can get those neon signs. <laughs> I might get one safe moves first. <laughs> Just have it up there, always the problem, beaming. The problem, at me. Is, the problem is when you have, you know, put the science stickers or something like that around because it happened to me working, you know, doing translations and having things that have to be done, you know. Okay, don't forget this. Is you get used to them being there and your brain just starts ignoring them, so you need yeah. to start changing them, different colors, different shapes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Get neon that can change, you can change colors, yeah. <laughs> and you'll be like, right, it's it's pink this week, and then it's, I got used to it, and then change yeah, it to green. Yeah, it's really that. Yeah. It doesn't. It like, I, I, yeah, it's it's try It's true. You just get used to things. You just need you just need a little you just need a little leprechaun saying to you, safe moves first. No, 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 no. Just activate the fire alarm in your house every three minutes. <laughs> That's pretty sensible. <laughs> I don't think any way that could go wrong with the neighbors. <laughs> I mean, if you explain them, you are playing, you know, a game of Blood Bowl, they go, oh, of course, of course, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Robo Elliot, yeah. Everybody needs a Robo Elliot in their life. <laughs> So now you've just got to not get blitzed on, right? Like, not, not lose to a blitz. I mean, obviously you might get blitzed on. You, you just have to set up to not lose to a blitz. So I like having these two guys right forward here, covering the flanks. I don't like them there, because the blitz could be here, right? The blitz could, the ball could go there, yeah. and you could have it in a cage. So I want them right on the line so that you can't get, you can't lose to a short blitz. Time out. Time out, okay, one time less, so yeah, yeah. I want to spend this time to feed the cats because the kitten is coming here with them. Are you hungry? You got a cat. <laughs> this is... A, oh, I hate this move. I hate this move. So many people say, cover the ball, pick up. But at the end of the day, this isn't covering shit, right? Because <laughs> he's too close. Like, he was covering it more there, having the screen to stop them getting through. Really don't like this. Too close. Have it, have it up one, you know? Like it's just too close. That's what I think. Like, it's okay, because he's part of the cage when you go up. So it's, it's not terrible, actually, but it often is. Is he going to blitz with a big one? He hasn't blitzed. He's dub scold. It's his last reroll. Maybe he can accept it. Because he's covered the pickup. He doesn't. So if you're not gonna if you're gonna re-roll the dub skulls, then was it even worth covering the pickup, right? Maybe you should just gone for the pickup. Before you did the block, if you were gonna re-roll the block. Interesting. Interesting. Like if you're gonna make that block before the pickup, then you need to not re-roll it, right? Because otherwise just go for the pickup. I think. I think. Well, no, because he's going to re-roll it. Mm, but then just don't go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you probably just go for the pickup first. Because now out of re-rolls is a nightmare. Nightmare against gutters without a re-roll. Now you just... Bad dice from losing, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> hate this move is terrible, not that bad. Well, that's the thing, right? Because So that's what happens, Ali Raider. It's hard, right? Because I only have my brain and my ideas, right? So 
I think things and have ideas and then I'd have to try and work out what their entire thought process was, right? And then because they've got an entire thought process, they're not clicking at random. And then if I can work out what it was, then I think, all right, so the reason they were doing that was because of this, this, and this. And then it makes sense, doesn't it? So, yeah. Alright, I'm back. That's true, they might have just been clicking at random, yeah. But I'm a little bit concerned that Toomish got that one turn. You know, he's got that record with Skave and he scored that one turn. He obviously knows how to play Blood Bowl. I'm a little bit concerned that I'm in his group for the World Cup. I would have really loved for him to have really played like, terribly. <laughs> I would have really loved for him to play terribly this game and then been quite happy that he'd looked his way to a great record in the semi-final, but unfortunately it appears he does actually know how to play Blood Bowl. Uh, very sad. <laughs> uh, the groups of the other day, um, Friday, Friday we did the Draw Alley Raider, it's on my YouTubes. The draws on there, and there's also I did a preview of all the groups also on my YouTube, and there's Breaky T has done a document which is fantastic. I still haven't linked that on my uh, my YouTube actually. I should do that. I shall. I shall put those. To oh my God, he's dub schooled again. This fucking orc. This fucking orc. He's dub. He's made two blocks at this at this half and double schooled them both. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to lose him the game single-handedly. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. Yeah, no, the proof is not they listening to the, they are not listening to the stream. Uh, someone listening to the stream will have never roll uh, double skulls. Yeah, that because was a... <laughs> that's a bad move. Really bad move, yeah. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much. Chaos Welly, absolutely glorious, staying fantastic for one who be the pregnancy. Ah, oh, yeah, oh, this guy's so... <laughs> Second quarter, yeah, probably. All you see, orcs falling all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, very lucky that it was the last one and not one of the other ones. That otherwise, it would have completely exposed the ball. But now he's in the dice zone, isn't he? It's this is going to be real hard for Sparta because he is in the dice zone, and if uh, if he gets bad dice, it's all over at this point. First game of today, yes. The first game of Blue Ball 3, no. <laughs> this is the set, and this is not the World Cup, this is the Chalice. Yes, yeah, yeah. This is the semi final of Chalice. Um, first game of today. The first game of Chalice will be at 6 30 UTC. I will break beforehand. I'm not going to stream loads of Blood Bowl. Just going to end the stream. And then come back. Maybe on a delay. I'll, I'll ask Vituk if he thinks. You know, because could just like talk less about plays, right? Could just not call out plays. And then. Because uh, I could understand people having issues, right? Like, that was valid. I don't think it was valid. I don't think... I don't think Toomish was watching the stream and learned how to one turn from watching the stream in, in five minutes. But I do think it is a valid complaint that people... Well, not valid. I think it's a complaint that people might make 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Good job he put him in there in case the one in nine because he did one in nine. And uh, he's still got a cage. So very good play by Spartacus. Safe moves first. So yeah, I don't think it really is a, I don't really think it's a valid complaint, but I think it is a complaint that people could have, right? Like, you know, if this game had been for two and a half grand and then afterwards, you know, if you if you had lost, if, you know, if you had lost this game and, you know, the other guy's got two and a half grand and you got, well, I mean, you still get 1.8 to be fair. But, you know, like, you could watch the VOD back and you could be like, rah, 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 couldn't you? So, like, I, I get it, even if, even if I don't agree with it I still think people could be could be unhappy about things and I'd just rather not have that be a chance it doesn't go for the uphill well you know he's there Playing this Kevin is not mandatory to go to the uphill every single time. No, no, he's in quite a good spot and the Orcs out of re-rolls. They're on nine players. <laughs> and they're out of re-rolls. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. And this uh, rats have a lot of tackles, so the Dodger once again in big danger. <laughs> You know, what I was thinking about, you know, about these people, you know, coaching others, blah, 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 blah. Imagine, you know, like the silence of the lambs. <laughs> You know, you know, you need to make your first move safe, Laris. <laughs> I suffered his two gutter runners with an Asian tea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a young experience, you know, a blood ball coach goes to talk to, you know, I, I even let Dr. Aníbal Lecter, <laughs> famous experts, famous streamer, you know. <laughs> And also, you tell me that a blood ball coach is a psychopath uh, making a dress of human uh, skin in the basement. <laughs> I would believe it. <laughs> I think this is actually. I think this looks a relatively easy clear for the for the uh, orcs. It's just literal, just everything two dices, and you can you can clear this pretty easily. Two mm. dice, get good results, try to move a little. There That's you go. A big one. That's a big good. one, that. Once again, throwing shade. Maybe Spartacus is watching the stream, you know, and decided <laughs> to roll two dice blocks. <laughs> oh. Really should have powered then. That was a bad decision not to power. Honestly, yeah. I think he probably should have kept him in on the ball, right? Pushed him onto the ball. And the ball should have 2D'd him for an extra chance to power. Because pushing him away like this is horrendous, and he hasn't followed either. So now he's just getting guarded straight on the ball. Yeah, no, I think the play there was to push it, was to follow, and push him onto there, and then block with the ball to try and power him. And then this guy can just push. This guy can push. This guy can push. So he can, he can clear everybody off with these three pushes, but he had to follow there, he, and he had to knock him down. So yeah, I think he had to push him in for an additional block. My God. I'm, I'm still seeing uh, the the uh, silence of the lambs with blood ball with PC as Aníbal Lecter and uh, Train as the Jodie Foster <laughs> or another uh, female uh, streamer. <laughs> I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it, and all of you are seeing it. You know. <laughs> okay, I forgot you can just move the ball. So yeah, this is fine. Actually, I was completely incorrect. Like, this is the thing, right? You just don't think of things, and then, so, you know, like, oh, I wouldn't have done that. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, you can just move across a little bit. Totally fine. Totally fine. That's the thing, you, you kind of, you tunnel vision in, don't you, and stuff. And okay, another rat out. This is exactly what he needs. Get your rat out. And now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't block. I mean, it was blocked to a sidestepper blodger with a to that with a blockless block without re-rolls yeah no that's, I mean I, that's, I, I agree I with him. touching that rat is toxic dangerous don't do it <laughs> do it with Jagger now the tackle it's nine aside now yeah nine aside 
Oh, that's a very good result for the orcs. I can yeah. stand firm there. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, is it so many, so many memes can come from the uh, challenge of the lambs. <laughs> Because I watched it the other day. Absolutely incredible, good movie. Do you know I've never seen the full movie? I've just seen the clips, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Watch it because it's really good. It's, uh, it's really, really good. And it stands the the pass of time very, very well. Oh, it's so unnerving. You know, those <laughs> first plays of the face of the character. So good, so good. That's a 90s movie, so it's only 10 years old. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Very good point, Fami. Four plus a rack up on the ball. I don't know. Man. Like, you might get a better play, right? I think what he's thinking is with the Orcs being out of rerolls, you can just get a better chance. <laughs> I tried to save my one turn, and I can still hear the screams. <laughs> Watch it, it's two hours, and it's like, it's, but it's so full of stuff, man, that it's like, oh, this is how a movie is made. You know, two hours that feel like actually content. Not like nowadays, you have to watch three seasons of uh, something to go somewhere. Yeah. House of the Dragon, I'm looking at you. <laughs> How oh, am I the pink? Well, he can have a good turn now, can't he? The two mission, he can get, he can get right forward here. Kind of has to as well. Turn twenty-two. He kind of really has to get moving. He could dodge out with his tackler at the end. But he's got like a block there, and then he's got like four players, so he can blitz and uh, get upfield as well. Yes, Apostabu, something's happening that we lost hours of our lives. The, that show is like, how long? 15 <laughs> hours? 15 hours long already, or something like that? Or, uh, and he's like, oh my god. <laughs> the, role of the, the Lord of the Ring, Rings trilogy is what seven hours eight hours and look at that yeah good point good point for him here See, just nowadays every, everything has to be five seasons for god's sake why well, they make more money if it's five seasons don't they eh? i mean that's Which all one? it is isn't it that's all i mean that's it they just make more money if it's more if it's more seasons isn't it why would yeah, you make yeah, a... money? And there is also the syndication thing if they reach a hundred episodes or something like that, or an amount that get everybody involved gets more money. Yeah. Why would you make less? Doesn't make any sense, does it? If you can. Why you make can... it better so people don't end up absolutely, you know, disgusting? Yeah, but. You know, people, people won't or will. We are not happens. getting any junk, and if you do the maths, when some series that you're watching are actually going to end, and you see the age you're going to be, <laughs> at that time it's going to be 29, yes, but there are different kinds of 29. <laughs> yeah. like it's, it's right though, isn't it? Like that's, the, that's the harsh reality is they'll just get more money for making 100 episodes than if they made 20, so that's what we're going to get. It's not like making 20 episodes will guarantee it's better, is it, you know? Well, when you suddenly start to see all the filler episodes and filler seasons, it's like, oh my god, and that's why people also stop watching it. Yeah. Okay, he's gone, he's gone away there. He's not in his cage, because he's realised it's a little bit dangerous, and he's just going to hit the rest of the Rackler with mighty blow tackles. That's a pretty good and not follow up. Hopefully, every brick doesn't get it. So we just die caging here. Oh my god, and dodging to foul a gutter. Lovely. KO, and not sent off. Result. Yes, a result. Oh, Apo, Apo is it to a stun. No, I still, I stand, uh, you know. Uh, 
basically done for the drive, yeah. Yeah, only available in the last turn of the game. Ah, there you go. A post, 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 a a post, a post, a post, a post, a a post, <laughs> Apple stands, yes. yeah. um, right, so there you go. So they make two seasons for the Netflix. Interesting. Interesting. I thought it was funny when you know that all the Marvel movies were happening. Like, um, like you know what? What's it called? Like, what was the big one called? Endgame, Avengers Endgame. Endgame. Yeah, Endgame. You knew who you knew who was going to die because it was the ones who were going to get paid more if they didn't. <laughs> so that was there was no surprises if you just looked at that. <laughs> yep. I watched uh, the Deadpool and Wolverine uh, movie the other day. It was good fun. Yeah, I thought it was very good, very fun. Too, too, too much on the constant reference and the story barely makes any sense, but <laughs> I like it. And I I would like to have the villain have more screen time. I thought she was uh, brilliant as Cassandra Nova, which is absolutely an over-the-top evil character in uh, the Marvel comics, created by Grant Morrison, and he went absolutely over-the-top of being evil. It's like, holy <laughs> shit, what the fuck I'm reading? This is, this is fucking sick. <laughs> You know, it's not like level, oh, Magneto, or something like that. Oh, no, no, it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Well, he's got a chance here, hasn't he, Spartacus? He's got a chance. <sighs> I think he's got a he actually team. has a very good chance. His team is more or less in order. Mm. He needs to advance this turn, which can can be done. Yeah, worse comes to worse, he keeps the uh, he just keeps the eye cage, right? I think he can easily just get an eye cage to that. Uh, yeah, he has three, the block there five. to get the space. Uh, the block on the gutter runner, and then the half has the blitz. And he's blitzing him first, gets the power. So yeah, blitzes with three dice. And then that maybe frees this guy up as well. Maybe even two of them, right? You could go there and if he gets a power, he frees them both. No reroll is very scary, yeah. Yeah, incredibly scary. One, two, and three, here we four, go. Five, six, seven. So no GFI is required. So now he can block with a blitzer. Okay, so I actually like blocking with the Blitzer because then that guaranteed... No, it didn't guarantee anything. Disregard. So now these two blocks guarantee him getting and then he can go there, yeah. So that's very nice. And then the 1D there to free the Tackler. Oh, very nice. And now the Tackler can... Uh, come back yeah. and tack. That evil wrestle tackle yeah, yeah. Uh, got there. Yeah. There you go. That's that's okay because that that gets like this one as well. That stops this one three plusing out, and then it makes him go back and around, which is good. So yeah, pretty good. Or oh, over this way. So good turn. Good turn for Spartacus. And actually, uh, no one in scoring range at the moment for Spartacus, right? So effort two mission. For Tombish. Yeah, so no risk at all for uh, for Spartacus right now. She has a lot scary and actually had to roll the dice. <laughs> mm. 
is going to be a cage dive happening. Surely, surely has to eventually. He has to be the with the wrestle uh, tackler, I guess. Yes. Can he, no, can he reach? It's not easy for him. He's probably got to uh, like one D this I stand firm though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they're all guards guards wants to come this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So that's the way he does it. He has to cancel this assist and then he has to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, it's not it's not too hard actually. There you go, two 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 five two. Right, two, the assist. two Here five. we go. Reroll the push this time. To get another push. Yeah. Doesn't get it off. Doesn't get it off. More or less. Unless. Uh, triple skulls. This has uh, sorted. Yep. Partacus reaching to the final with the fingertips. Well, there'll still be a one turn chance for Tumish, right? Oh, yeah. For fuck's sake, it's true. <laughs> Fucking game. <laughs> he was already in range. He didn't have to GFI before. He's moved. He's moved up, so he was already in range. Obviously, can't reroll this. He needs his reroll for the one turn. So, yep, three dice. 30, Thirty seconds of time bank. So he has to need to be extremely quick setting up the one turn. Yeah. So just three dice, that's all. Mm, so he's got no rerolls, so you own you only three dice the gutter. That's all you can do. Yeah. You have to three, three dice the gutter. Quickly. He doesn't have side step, so he's like uh, go for it. Quickly. Move this guy to here. Three dice the gutter. If That's he blitzes with do. the ball carrier, he still has movement to uh, reach the... Yeah, but he can block it with this big and right, he just has to cancel the gut assist. Wait, did he not have to counter it? Four, five, six, seven, oh, he didn't even need to count to cancel the gut assist, he just had three dice instantly. There <laughs> you go, and now Spartacus is going to score in work, Dark Heart. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, oh, I don't, I don't. No, He's got no, sidestep! No. Oh my god, that was... I mean, he is the one-turner, okay? I get that he's the one-turner. But, oh my god, if you push him, you've got to make a dodge. And it could have failed. Wow. That was spicy. It could have still been the right play. It could have been the right play, right? Could have very much been the right play. It was just, it was just like, holy moly. Because, like, removing that one-turner is so good, right? Like, he's so unstoppable. Leap, sidestep, sprint to your feet. Like, he's incredible. So it's definitely worth trying to remove him. But, like, it's is it worth the risk of having to dodge the ball carrier? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Now he's going back line and relying on the stand firm. But, yeah, the play was an extra square back. As, uh, as Chiakon said. So he nearly had the right play last time. He just needed to go two squares back. One there, one there. And then like T2. 
two in the middle here, whatever. Also, now if he gets a blitz, it's worse, right? So the all of these guys should be on this line. That's what he needs to do. This is definitely wrong what he's doing at the moment. Ooh, and actually, maybe the apart might be bad as well. Okay, he's moving them forward. Maybe he's watching. <laughs> no, it's not on the wrong line anyway. It should be one closer. It should be one closer, and they should probably be like double space there. Something. Good Craig Jimmy, shut up for a minute. <laughs> well I've started now, haven't I? I've, after the after the two Mish allegations I have to I have to do my best for Spartacus. <laughs> now what you should do here is put everyone in a line on this on this roll here. Just put everyone in a bigger line and then end the turn and just lose. This is really easy because the, these guys weren't one square forward, so he just gets to run, the, run in behind. That was outrageous from uh, Spartacus. Just gives him it for free. Absolutely, absolutely not good enough. Yeah, no, this this setup does not work. It, at least it gives him a blitz, right? Like this is better than backline because at least if he gets a blitz, he can he can utilize a blitz result. But yeah, they just need to be one square forward, right? Because as it is, this just lets him go through here and blitz behind for free. Maybe set him up to do that or this one, whichever, whichever doesn't matter. Um, well. I think he's going to have an easy time getting someone behind uh, the non uh, stand firm uh, blitzer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If these were one square up, then this becomes like a, you know, a, a five plus, four plus, five plus dodges. So, yeah, without any doubt, this has to be one square up. 1D, yeah, two plus is enough, right? But a 2D is better, isn't it? Oh, timeout! Oh! <gasps> He got a timeout! Oh my goodness. Oh, oh what my. What a semi final! Goodness. Well, now you're Everything definitely. Everything to stop me guy. having my lunch. <laughs> now you're definitely just going to blitz this guy and make a pocket, right? I imagine. Yes, Christopher B. Yeah, it had to be one square forward. Last time he did it two squares forward in there and gave him the, gave him the chain. Uh, give him like the the massive fill, so then this time he got scared and went two back, but he should have just gone one square further back than what he was. Yeah, he's obviously going to blitz this orc now. Yes, there was a there was a not a riot, a timeout. So yeah, the timeout. Which is the, the which is the name of the riot now? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, blitzing with wrestle though. He re-rolled the ball down. Interesting. I would have re-rolled the push because I'd have rather wrestled him. I think. No, no, wrestling is terrible. Why did he put? Yeah, wrestling was a bad. Yeah, wrestle was just terrible. Whatever happened? Why not just blitz with block? This guy could have just blitz. No, he couldn't. He was on away. Errata. This guy could have dodged blitzed. But that's going to be the ball carrier. Yeah. Maybe he's going to hand off to this guy. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he's going to hand off to this guy. Could have got two further forward. He could have been in the back line. And he's rolled a one. Oh! Re-roll 
that's it. And there goes the reroll. No rerolls now for anyone. Real Blood Bowl. I would have definitely gone one further forward here as well. Just quietly. It's actually better if, like, your opponent tries to blitz the ball. Because you the say that break tackle is only for the drive? Because it's been for the whole game. Uh, oh, yeah, it was the whole uh, game. Wait, no. No, no, no. Uh, the dodge is a 3 plus of yeah, uh, Fisi's. Uh, last until the end of the match. Yeah. Pretty good, eh? Oh, <laughs> pretty skilled. Happy days. <laughs> How open it's been a pretty pretty crazy match, yeah. Twenty-four turns back and forth. Uh, one turn well it wasn't the one turn, was it? It was the DACA failed because of a snake. And now Big uh, Wire doing his in. Oh, it looks like looks like it's gonna go to kicks. Do you mean the black screen? No no no, there's kicks now, there's a there's a the dice rolls are displayed. Oh, nice, nice. Mm. There's a little bit of a bug though that the uh, the names of the teams are wrong. The uh, the icons are correct, but the names of the teams are wrong. Down to 13 seconds is too mish, by the way. Brutal. Point. Brutal. And Spartax is down to 35 seconds. And he might have... Oh, my oh God. He's double Oh, my God. No safe moves. No safe moves were made. <laughs> it's a 2 plus for 2 mish to draw. And go to kicks. I think he can just uh, blitz the, the... It's just a handoff. Ah, right? yeah, you're talking the GFI, the GFI, yeah, yeah. Or handoff, a handoff or a GFI either way. Oh, yeah, yeah, put these both in the end zone and then do the GFI. In fact, this guy can go behind as well for, like, a bubble box. This guy can also go behind for an increased bubble box. And he makes the GFI. Here we go. Spartacus wins the first roll. Tumish wins the second. Oh my god, this Spartacus. is really good. Hey, one for Spartacus. Spartacus wins. Four one for Spartacus. <laughs> Four one. Jeez. Four <laughs> one, the sudden death. Spartacus goes to the final. As uh, one of the most spectacular uh, games of Blue Ball I have watched in a while, I have to admit. Yeah, that was a great game. Great game. Um, what a dicing. So yeah, you can see there that the icons are the right they're on the, for us watching, the icons are on the right side and they've just the names are swapped. Um Oh so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well you you know, you have to give them these things happen. Yep. So there you go. Yep. Congratulations, Spartacus, commiserations too much. Great game though, three two Massive equity shifts, wasn't there? Dub skulls and snakes. Uh, really yeah, great. yeah, everything uh, happening there. It was incredible. The timeout and all that. Wow. Mm -hmm. And controversy when it comes to uh, one turning players. So yeah, I'll definitely, I'll honestly, I'll definitely speak to Vitu and see what he thinks about you know delays or how much we should analyze you know things that have just happened rather than like you know talk about things that could happen, things like that. Um, yeah, interesting, right? But uh, so there you go, anyway. Congratulations, Spartacus. Commiserations, too, Mish. And uh, thank you very much, Fimey. It was glorious having you in the booth. Glorious to be here, and I hope our viewers in Canada, people like William Sander or Keith Sutherland, enjoy the, the stream or Pamela Anderson. Oh, so yeah. Another one that I was really surprised that he was not American. He was I, not from the States. <laughs> I did actually know Pamela Anderson was Canadian. Hey, there you go. <laughs> one of the ones that I had a bit more interest in than the others. <laughs> <laughs>
a bigger, a bigger part of your formative years. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. I was, I was a big fan of Baywatch for for obvious reasons. <laughs> for the story, for the story. Yeah, yeah, Clearly. of course, yeah. And the Hoth. <laughs> um, right, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.